Hello, this is Monique here from LeanSixSigmaSource.com and today's tutorial is going to be on how to construct a fishbone diagram. First, what we're going to cover in this tutorial is what is a fishbone diagram, the components of a fishbone diagram, when to use a fishbone diagram, and I'll also show you a short Sigma XL presentation on how to actually construct the fishbone diagram. So first, what is a fishbone diagram? Well, it's a tool used when you're brainstorming with a group of people for your Lean Six Sigma projects. And you're going to utilize the five whys in which you continuously ask a question of why to drill down to root causes. And I'll demonstrate that in my um, uh, presentation a little bit later. It also helps you to categorize potential sources of defects or root causes. And it can also help you identify possible failure modes. Other names for the fishbone diagram are the cause and effect diagram or the Ishikawa di diagram. Ishikawa named after the Japanese engineer who popularized the fishbone diagram. The components of a fishbone diagram are the head of the fish, so to speak, which is the effect or the outcome, the horizontal branches, which are the causes, then you have sub-branches, which represent the reasons, and then you're going to have your uh, branches of your um, fish broken up into, uh, usually for non-service processes, you're going to have it broken up into methods, materials, people, equipment, your measurement technique and environment. Now for service pro processes, it can be helpful to use the four P's, which are policies, procedures, plant, and people to help you separate those things out. So when do you want to use a fishbone diagram? There are two phases when you want to use the fishbone diagram. The analyze phase, where you're going to brainstorm possible root causes and also the improve phase where you're going to create a list of failure modes for your failure modes and analysis. So let me do a quick example on paint defects. Okay, so I'm here in my Excel spreadsheet and I already have my Sigma XL toolbar um, available. So I'm just going to go up here to Sigma XL templates and calculators, cause and effect, fishbone diagram. And I'll click that option. Okay, now you can see the entire um, fishbone diagram here. You have a place to write your project name, your date, who did it, and some notes up here. You can see you have your people, material, environment, method, machine or equipment, measurement, and then the head of the fish here is your problem or effect, your statement. Okay, so let's do an example. Let's focus on, first you're gonna to need to write your problem statement or effect, okay? For this example, it's gonna be paint, oops, I can spell that right. Paint defects. Okay. And then, for example, let's talk about some possible sources of those paint defects. For Let's look at people for a moment. Let's say um, you're brainstorming and somebody says, uh, well, there's a lack of training. So we'll write that down. So being the, the next thing you want to do is ask, well, why is there a lack of training? Well, say you don't have defined procedures, so no defined procedures. It would be hard to ask the operators to check the paint if they don't know what they're checking for. So there's no parameters on what is supposed to be checked. Um, so 
and you can keep drilling down or why there's no defined procedures until you kind of get to an end doing that iteration of uh, asking why material so say you have like metal uh, castings of some sort and they're sanded before they're painted so somebody might say well um, um, we have issues because of sanding um, well why is sanding an issue well could it be that the discs are too rough um, so discs too rough And they're making grooves in the the metal casting or or whatnot um, to make the paint not adhere properly, or could it be like the environment? And that example could be like your paint booth is too humid. Okay. Um, well, why is it humid? Well, there are no climate controls. Okay, so. Once you get climate controls, then you want to decide on, figure out what they need to be. So you can keep drilling down, keep drilling down, keep drilling down. So let's do another one. Let's say measurement. Okay. Say um, you don't want your paint to be too light or too thick. So you have a thickness meter. And you say, well, it's the thickness meter. Well, what's wrong with the thickness meter? Is it, could it be out of calibration? When was the last time it was calibrated? Okay, so you can see, you know, so on and so forth, and that's what you want to do. Um, so those are just a couple examples of how you can um, use this tool to go about brainstorming. And one thing that I do like about this is, like, I'm I'm showing you this on Excel, and you could use this um, on your um, projector. Uh, using a computer to do this with the group or you can use it with flip chart paper and then it's really easy to add on to it and let me show you that really quick okay so let's see method here I'm gonna get my crosshairs open and just drag this down and then I'll pull the arrow back up to the line now what I'll do now is I'll single click on this sub cause, hit control, and single click on the cause. And I'll copy and then I'll paste. Okay, so let me drag that down here. Bada bing, bada boom, I have another cause and another sub cause. So it's very easy to expand. Um, you can do this on a flip chart paper and then um, copy it to this type of format using this template so your presentation will be nice and neat. So all you need to do is just um, copy it like as an image to put in your, present, your final presentation. So um, that's a demonstration on how to use Sigma XL to do a fishbone diagram. So let me go back to my presentation here and show you what we've covered so far. Alright, so we've done a demonstration on uh, Sigma Excel for paint defects. And today what we've covered is what is a fishbone diagram, the components of a fishbone diagram, the head, the sub-branches, um, and the horizontal branches when to use a fishbone diagram in your analyze and improve phases. And I just want to thank you for reviewing my tutorial. Um, this is brought to you by LeanSixSigmaSource.com, and I'm Monique. And thank you again for your time. Have a great day.